This is a brief overview of the glymphatic system and cerebral spinal fluid flow. The glymphatic system is a fluid transport system that accesses all regions of the brain. It has three parts. Part one is the influx of cerebral spinal fluid portion. Part two is the exchange of cerebral spinal fluid with interstitial fluid uh, portion. And part three is the efflux of interstitial fluid. Cerebral spinal fluid is produced in four interconnected cavities deep within the brain, known as the ventricular system. Within each cavity is a choroid plexus, which is comprised of capillaries encased within ependymal cells. Cerebral spinal fluid is produced in the ventricular system, flows in the subarachnoid space, which is the space in between two of the three membrane layers encasing the brain and spinal cord, flows by way of the glymphatic system into spaces around cells where it provides vital nutrients to the brain cells, blends with interstitial fluid. Interstitial fluid flow then picks up waste or potentially toxic substances, flows by various routes to drainage pathways back to systemic circulation. This slide represents a detail of the brain tissue. The pink cells are astrocytes. The green cells represent neurons and synapses. The space around cells is known as the extracellular space, also known as the interstitial space, which is filled with, inter with interstitial fluid and extracellular matrix. The bold red and blue uh, lines represent vasculature, the red represents arterial inflow, the blue represents venous outflow. The blood vessels are encased in astrocyte end feet, and the astrocyte end feet leave a little space in between the inner surface of the end foot and the outer surface of the blood vessels, creating what's known as a perivascular space. There is a perivascular cerebral spinal fluid influx pathway, a perivascular interstitial fluid efflux outflow pathway. The black dots represent waste and potentially neurotoxic substances. Cerebral spinal fluid flows in the perivascular influx pathway to flow in between or through specialized channels within the astrocyte end feet to then blend with interstitial fluid and the flow of interstitial fluid then disperses the vital nutrients to the brain cells. The flow of interstitial fluid also helps to pick up waste and carry them to the efflux, the outflow uh, pathway, where those substances as carried by interstitial fluid will flow through or in between astrocyte end feet, so through the end feet within specialized channels to the outflow pathways and then through various routes back to systemic circulation. So this is showing inflow through or in between the end feet blends with interstitial fluid. Interstitial fluid flow will then help to carry waste or potentially harmful substances to the outflow portion to then flow by way of the outflow to various routes back to systemic circulation. A disturbance in the glymphatic system can lead to a lessening of nutrient flow to brain cells as well as a buildup of waste and neurotoxic substances which over time can lead to neuropathology. So this has been a brief overview of the glymphatic system and cerebral spinal fluid flow. Thank you for joining me.